Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here, checking in on a Tuesday afternoon here in California, July 21st, 2020, about 2.12 p.m. West Coast time here, and got an earthquake coming through on the seismograph stations here. Uh, it's from a 6.0 earthquake in the Fiji Islands region. Now, this earthquake not showing up yet on the USGS stations. Uh, but it is showing up on the EMSC website. Uh, just to give you guys a heads up. Here is the earthquake signature that is popping off right there. 6.0. Pretty good sized quake there. Also showing up there in the Solomon's Island region. And also uh, Port Moresby, New Guinea is picking up that earthquake as well. Let's go ahead and check out the specifics on it from the EMSC. CSEM.org website. It does show that earthquake on the map here in the kind of purple or magenta color, if you will, indicating the last earthquake uh, on the map here. And you can see the coordinates there 6.0 magnitude, very extremely. Now, this is an extremely deep earthquake uh, taking place in this region. Sometimes the EMSC website does get it wrong and they reevaluate the earthquake after uh, the USGS gets a hold of it and does their preliminary uh, mag magnitude investigation as well. But as you can see, not showing up yet on the USGS uh, one day magnitude 2.5 and above map at all. Uh, I can only find this earthquake on the EMSC website. So 6.0. Uh, according to this to the European model and the depth of it like I said very deep 616 kilometers below surface there and there we go yeah we're gonna wait and see if uh, if the USGS picks up this earthquake as of right now on the earthquake 3d globe definitely not picking it up uh, at all. There has been some deeper earthquake activity south of the region um, well over the last 24 hours or so but right now according to these folks the USGS only putting out a 3.2 over there in the Puerto Rico area as their latest earthquake so no tsunami warning with this this thing is very deep even if it was a larger magnitude earthquake excuse me I just ate a whole bunch of tacos here carnitas tacos and uh, they were delicious, but it's giving me some hiccups now. But um, yeah, you can see that earthquake also showing up there, the signature of it at least, uh, there in Papua New Guinea as well. So pretty deep. Um, and like I said, even if we did see a larger magnitude at that depth, I do not believe we would see any type of tsunami uh, at all. Even if it was a 7.5 or possibly even larger in that region depending on the plate dynamics out there but uh, the majority of the time deep deep earthquakes like that do not trigger uh, tsunamis so once again I'm just checking the USGS map here uh, they're kind of slow folks there it is there it is we got it finally 6.0 magnitude quake there from the USGS shown up now in their red circle right there uh, south of Fiji near Tonga Samoa region and the depth still a very deep 602 kilometer depth this is extremely deep folks i mean it's it's one of the deeper ones uh, that i've seen in quite a long time now fiji islands area is no stranger to earthquake activity and deep earthquake activity at that but uh i tell you what whenever we see a deep earthquake like that it's something uh <laughs> something to, to watch just due to the uh, adverse effects that it creates around the rest of the plates uh, and it could just be around this area or it could be anywhere uh, north or south or even east or west of here it just uh, all depends on where the plate uh, pressure movement is headed towards and where it's greatest at but uh, just be on guard definitely be on guard out here folks with this major movement at a very deep level 602 kilometers there uh, of course that should be showing up on the earthquake 3d globe let me double check refresh it sometimes it takes a minute or two to show up on there as well there we go so we got that popping up there that 6.0 in the 
green flag indicating that very deep earthquake and uh, of course on the earthquake 3d globe you can tell it's very deep by the level of um, well how, how far it's raised off the globe here and you can see I can make this thing pretty small and it still goes way off the map there a lot of a uh, lot of deep movement in the Fiji Islands area but this one tops the chart there uh, with 602 kilometers so uh, we have seen deeper but uh, I can say it's a uh, pretty deep movement there definitely be on guard folks uh, today as this could be a early warning sign of something uh, potentially coming up here pretty soon at the surface level anyway hope everyone's having a good day up there gonna jump off here and uh, be monitoring the live stream here for a little bit have a good day